When I started thinking about writing this letter to you, I could not help but think about our families and the amazing story that ties us together. Who would have ever thought that our grandparents would have developed a friendship out of World War II and that our mothers would follow suit with another lifelong, long distance friendship of their own? And as if that was not unique enough, you and I have extended the tradition into the third generation and perhaps the closest friendship of all. At this point, we are family, and you have always been the sister I never had. You may not see it now, it's so obvious to me. I can't help but think you're exactly what I need. I got my heart set, can't take my eyes off. started dating and they decided to get engaged and we discovered that Keith is related to Merle and so now today our families are joined underneath the covers kiss me <laughs> this is happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how you expected it. Nice yeah. Song. Yes. You look good. Thank you. You ready? Yes. Okay. More than ready. Welcome to St. Pius X as we come for this very special occasion, the marriage of Beth and Keith. Let us start with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God made the male and female.
female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. And the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The choice of a spouse is one of the most serious choices of one's life. It should be made carefully. It should include prayer and consideration. sacrament of marriage is a beautiful and a most precious sacrament and it should be received only after great preparation. Marriage and real love is patient. Keith, you said it was Beth that taught you this. You both learn to seek not your own interests, but the good of the whole, the couple. We often think of the first words, the famous reading from Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind. But you've got the heart of it. Real love seeks the interest of the other. Keith, I knew that you had found the woman that you truly loved when he said this. Beth made him feel like he was the most himself. That's amazing. God had planned it for you. That was his will, that you would be married. Beth made that happen and your openness to it as well. The church recognizes marriage as a sacrament, something that's sacred, something that's precious. It was something exceptional in Christ's mind. It was where he performed his first public miracle. He regarded it as the most sacred of unions. It was a union that was conceived in, in God's plan for our salvation. I, Keith, take you, Beth, to be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And to honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Beth, take you, Keith. I, Beth, take you, Keith. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. Leaky faucet, creaky floor. We don't even own a bathroom door. The sofa set is nothing. To be jealous of We don't have a lot But there's no shortage here for love whoa, whoa, oh, oh. All the pennies in the wishing wells All the diamonds Tiffany's could sell All the riches put together All the sunny California weather Could not make 
me love you any better Shoes or private jets to cap men do. Oh, 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 all the pennies and the wishing wells, all the diamonds Tiffany's could sell, all the riches put together. of Marty and I and Wayne and Diane um, we would like to thank you for coming and celebrating with us on this uh, very special day as far as uh, as Keith you know I, I feel I feel pretty blessed because I didn't have to raise him but I got a son <laughs> I wanted to share with you folks today a little bit about Keith that you may or may not know. Keith's a world traveler. He's been, I don't know how many places. Diane does, didn't even know where he was half the time. I remember calling the house and she's like, you know, I don't really know where he is right now, but he's adventurous and spontaneous. He's got a great adventurous spirit. He's accomplished in business. Um, you know, he's got his degree, he's had several promotions to management with the different companies he's been with. And he truly loves Beth. I can't tell you, I've never heard him speak an ill word of her. Uh, every time I see them together, you know, he just does everything he can to make sure that she's happy. And he truly enjoys it. And that's really important. As many of you have heard by now, Beth and I have been friends our whole lives. And as some of you probably know, we were good pen pals at one point. So I thought it was only fitting that I write Beth a letter. It's been wonderful to watch you and Keith grow and change as a couple. Keith has really shown that he possesses all of the qualities and character that you deserve in a husband. And he brings out the best in you which means so much to me, because when you're happy, I'm happy. And I think we all know that Keith prefers to see me happy. <laughs> Beth, I cannot begin to tell you how happy and honored I have been to stand beside you today. One more tradition comes to mind as I think about standing beside you today, and that is our attempt to recreate a special picture at every major event we share together. The first picture was when we were two years old, sitting on my parents' front porch steps. You on the right with shoes on, me on the left with shoes off and holding hands. 
and the most recent picture was taken today. I want you to know that no matter what life brings, I will always be on that step right beside you. So here's to Keith and Beth. May their days be long and full of happiness. May their children be many and full of health. And may they live in peace and harmony all the days of their life. So you think I might actually be done with my thanks this evening, but there's still one person I've yet to thank, to show honor to, and to admire. My wife. <laughs> Beth, I'm really a lucky guy. I'm very lucky. You have become my best friend and my soulmate. Your beauty is felt among everybody here in the room. Can we take a little time? Back porch in the rocking chair. Leave the light on, I'll be meeting you out there. Reminisce every moment past, all the times we shared. You and I grown old together. We stood and faced the weather. One thing I know, you are my soul. Got a life ahead of us, we're gonna take it slow. Little things you do, I love about you. Hold you close like the day we met and watch your lives unfold in the sky tonight. And I love you with a passion unconditional. We all love you because you love yourself and your love for others is unbounded. Beth, today I welcome you into my arms as my wife to have until death. Today I made a promise to this community, to our church community, and to you to be your husband, to have and to hold. Sun come up in the morning, underneath the shade of an oak tree. Colors on the leaves are changing, seasons moving endlessly. Man, where did the time go? We got some history. A little bit older now, but you still look so good to me. One thing I know, you are my soul. Got a life ahead of us, we're gonna take it slow. Little things you do, I love about you Hold you close like the day we met And watch your lives unfold in the sky Tonight And the stars will tell our story No doubt in my I'm sure I could talk tonight. for a long time About your beauty <laughs> About our time together About our friendship I really just want you to remember out of this speech today that I love you. And I always love you. And I know you won't care if I get a little gray hair. Sitting out back together, resting in our rocking chairs. Music in the background, we got time to share. It's been so beautiful loving you through all of these years. What I know? You are my soul Got a life ahead of us and we're gonna take it slow Little things you do I love about you Hold you close like the day we met And watch our lives unfold in the sky Tonight And the stars will tell our story No doubt of mind Tonight And I just know May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth His love into your hearts. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all who are gathered here in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may now kiss your bride. Just you and I